Then I take my comparator, I put it on the floor. So it's going to pick up the contents of this dropper. So if I grab even just a couple, like that, it'll push him up. And then if I grab another observer, We can put ice and break it. Put ice and break it. Ah, slight design flaw. And then we put block of ice here. Break it. That becomes top of the bubble vader. And then this here goes like that. And then flows all over the place and screws everything up. And that means we put a block here, take this out, and that'll now flow over, and we could still open that and retrieve our stone brick. Okay, so hopper. Hopper. Hop, hopper. Hopper. Exactly enough. All 31 made it. Let's go here. Now it's more like, now it's 36. Even if I go up here, it shouldn't leak out, right? 36. Excellent. Those torches will melt it and it will become what I want. Place a lot on top of this sign and it should spread out across all of them. If I do this, is this okay? Good. I was afraid that putting a block above that water source was going to do something goofy. Did not. Yeah, I'm going to put this guy over here. So I'm going to have three villagers standing. On their beds, I've got three beds, and I've got glass. I can put the signs away. And the heads of the bed need to be facing here, and I want them above the water source. All right. So, like this. No! I'm going to put the bed down like this. And then, bricks please. Then I put the bed not there. Put the bed here. Okay. Bed goes like that. All right, and then I want a block of glass over the foot of the bed. Like that. Cool. So now the villager will be able to stand here. He'll be able to lay down, go to sleep, which is important. Uh, and he will be able to, let's see, I want this here. Next bed, please. Bed goes here. Block of glass over the foot of the bed.
Okay. Next bed. And I block of glass over the foot. Okay. So this is where the villagers will go. And then I need a block of soul sand kind of at the same level as the beds. So we'll do this. I want it dead center. Whoa, 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 whoa. Last thing I need is to get sucked into the fiery pit. All right, and then the soul sand will go right there. Grab, go grab soul sand. Soul sand, and then I need a bunch of trap, spruce trap doors. And slab. Slab isn't super critical just yet, but... That is where the zombie will go. And let's see here. I want to put a block there for the time being. The trap doors will go here. Oh. Slapped and I lose my trap doors. And I think I had just enough. I'm going to have to make some more trap doors. That's okay. Door, trap door, and then two more. Trap door, trap door. Okay, and then I want to get my pick here and take out that block. I don't really need to grab it, but oh shoot, I do. All right, well, I want this to become a small bubble vader. And it will bounce the zombie up and down. Now all I need to do is get a zombie into here. And let's uh, get rid of this. We'll rebuild scaffolding get the zombie in place once it's time for that. Okay. So that's where the zombie goes and then I need to put I need to put a block above that. is temporary. So I want to put a slab. I have a spruce slab. I could use that, right? Or did I did I bring down a stone slab of some sort? I did. Oh, I did. Okay. Oh, the problem with that is I need to be able to get the zombie in there. Uh, 
that'll be a lot easier to do if I don't have anything above them. Okay, so now the challenge is getting villagers into the beds, getting a zombie into the, the bubble chamber. And then we should be done. Okay. So, I think we're about done. That took a lot longer than I expected. I'm going to go get some dirt or something to, to block off this drop, drop shaft because it's making me nervous. I could use sand. I could use stone, I suppose. Let's go get some dirt. I have dirt. <clears throat> I just don't want to update the water there. Turn that into something flowing. Dirt. I have plenty of dirt. And then with the my efficiency five shovel, I'll be able to ditch that dirt super quickly. And that lava is giving me plenty of light at that level, so I can I can ditch that and I can ditch that. And dirt can go in here, 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 and here. Ah, that makes everything a lot safer. So I don't run the risk of burning to death the villagers or zombies. So now I need to get villagers over here. And that's going to have to wait. I think I'm done for the day. Whew. That's kind of nerve wracking knowing what's right below all that dirt. Okay. Well, this is a good start. Um, next step will be to get villagers. And I don't know that I, I don't think I recorded this. I built this tunnel up here that goes all the way up to the surface of the mountain. It goes up the mountainside a little bit. And then a little bit. And right over there, that's, that's where my platform is with the villagers. So I can build a little walkway along here, go extract the villagers and bring them down here and get them into place. I just have to figure out the right process for doing that because it's a little tricky. I think what I'll do is I will build a little ramp to get them up a little bit higher than the bed, put a little ring here so that I can sort of nudge them into the ring and have them drop down here and then remove the ring. That should work, I think. We'll find out, but that's it for now. Uh, thank you for watching. Next time we will finish this up and I'll have a working iron farm. Which will be very exciting because I'm sick and tired of not having enough iron to do. Like, I, I just, it bugs me having it feel painful to grab enough iron to craft another bucket to hold lava. No, I want to build a whole like field of cauldrons and make a lava farm. Like here. I want to I want to have a full chest full of lava. Got a bunch of smooth stone melted, smelted. That's good. I was going to use that, but um it's good to have, but I don't need it at this point. So anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time. All right? Bye.